Fixed, kinda. What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Gear Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And on my channel, that's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. Today I'm actually doing an updated review on the Rio 240. So for you guys who don't know, about a year ago, a little over a year ago, Asus released two AIOs, a 240 version and a 360 version that have an OLED screen that allow you to either upload GIFs or just put on a picture of yourself if that's what you wanted to do. However, anyone who bought this product know two things. First off, the fans, uh, fans on these things are stupidly loud. And secondly, the software for it sucked. So a year later, after essentially just leaving it with the default ROG banner that comes on the actual AIO, I decided, you know what, let's see if the software has been fixed. The good news is, is that yes, in fact, the software is fixed. The bad news is that because it's an OLED screen, there is burn-in and I'm gonna show you guys that, but if you wanna buy this product and you're just kind of curious how to get it to work, I'm gonna walk you through those steps and then show you kind of what the result is of having the same image on this screen for at least the last year. So let's get into it. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to install the firmware and basically the program utility so you can actually use this AIO's GIF function and how to resize GIFs and essentially get it to work. And I'm also gonna show you some of the OLED burn-in that's a result of having the same image on the screen for close to a year. So the first thing that we're gonna do is I have the Rio 240. So this is the 240 millimeter version. Um, we're just gonna do Rio 240. I don't think I spelled that correctly. It doesn't matter because it's right there. All right, so you're gonna go to their um, page here and then you're gonna go to support. And then once you're in the support, you're gonna go to drivers and tools. You're gonna go to drivers and tools again. And then you're gonna pick the 64-bit version, obviously, if you have 64-bit. And then these are the two things you need. So the Armory Crate Installer is the new functionality for um, ASUS that it's not just for this, it's also for like linking up your um, RGB and things like that. But the tool now is inside of the Armory Crate. So you're gonna download this. You're also gonna download the rec uh, most recent software um, for the AIO, which is right here. And then once those both of those things have been installed, you're gonna restart your system. So I've already done all that, so I'm gonna show you kind of what the next step is. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually mess with the utility tool. Now, to the left of me, you're gonna see a screen as I'm recording this OLED as I'm messing with the settings in it. So you can see the effects of what this does and essentially um, you guys will know kind of how to do it as well. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go up here to device. You're gonna, it's right there, the ROG Ryu. It's gonna do a quick flash and then it should load us up into the basically this is the utility software. Now here's the thing, these are all predetermined image. So I'm gonna show you what happens when we switch them, what that does to the OLED on screen. So you can run through kind of some of the different settings on there for predetermined ones. You can do a custom banner. Now I found that in order for this to actually take, you have to restart your computer after you put it in. So if I was to type in geared ink and hit done for example, what you're gonna notice is and me actually, oh, so the first time I had to do it, I had to restart. But as you can see there on the actual AIO, it's not necessarily like very legible, right? It's kind of a tiny one, but technically it does work. So you can type in anything you wanna do uh, with any of the banners up above and it'll change the image to, you know, essentially whatever you're setting it to. Maybe you wanna look at your hardware. So here you can see I have voltage set up. You can set up temperature, uh, change it to your CPU if you want to, and then it'll actually cycle through whatever you have in this list. Now, the biggest thing I'm sure you guys wanna know how to do is actually how to do a custom GIF. That's the whole, you know, shtick of this thing is that you're essentially able to put in whatever GIF you want to within reason and that'll work. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, as you notice here, the image has to be 160 by 128 pixels. It can no, uh, can't be any bigger than one megabyte and it has to be under 240 frames. So the first thing that, or at least this is how I've done it. So the first thing is I'm gonna open up our internet again and I'm just gonna type in, I like to use Giphy, which is obviously where a lot of these are stored. And then once you're in Giphy, the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna look up your GIF. So in this case, I'm gonna do Star Wars, uh, Porkins, because there's a funny one for that. All right, so these are all the Porkins ones. I like this one here, clicking on it, where basically, as you can see, it's him and he's got like fries and a drink and you know, and he blows up, right? So what you wanna do now is we need to image this to the right size so it'll actually work with the AIO. I'm gonna open up a new tab and then I'm gonna do GIF Resizer. And the one that I've used before here is easygift.com. So all you need to do is I'm actually going to copy paste this address into the URL. I'm gonna upload it. And then once we've got it here, I'm gonna resize it. So if you remember, I'm gonna go back down here. If you remember, it has to be 160 by 128 pixels. 
So I'm going to do 160 by 128. Oh, not 428, 128. Apparently I can't type 128 and then I'm going to resize the image. All right. This is the image we want to save. So if I right click and I do save image as I've already set up a folder here for gifts downloads and I'm going to just save it right there. And now we're going to open up the armory crate tool again. And it's just, yeah, it's being weird. I'm going to click here. And then I already have it set to this directory and then I'm going to upload the GIF. Now this can take it a second. So we're going to be patient while it uploads, still being patient while it uploads, still being super patient while it uploads. I'm still waiting for it to upload. All right, so it's finally uploaded. Now, as you can notice, as it's going through its GIF animations, that when it's like flashing white, you're gonna see the ROG logo. That's because up for the last year, I only had the default logo on the screen and it's an OLED, which means I got, you know, I got burning basically. So for you guys who are going to be using this, what I would suggest is actually changing your GIF. I'd, I'd say every week or two, making sure that you don't allow it to essentially play the same GIF over and over and over again for too long. It's kind of a pain, but honestly, the result, if you leave it on the same one for too long, is getting burned in, which obviously you don't want to do. I hope that this has been helpful. So yes, the software technically works now, but this is a problem obviously with OLED screens. If you like this video, go ahead and leave me a big thumbs up. If you thought it was terrible, leave me a thumbs down. Remember to get subscribed and hit that bell icon so you know when these videos drop. Thanks as always to my Patreons and Twitch subscribers. You gain access on not only to our supporter Discord, which you can join in the description, but you also get access to our monthly wallpapers that I have artist commissions and they're different every time. Uh, you guys can also support me by buying anything you see through the uh, affiliate link down in the description below. All that money goes back in the channel. As always, guys, I'm going to continue to make these videos whether you watch them or not, but I hope you do. And I hope to see every single one of you next time here on Geared Inc.